the rate of inflation might have almost returned to normal, but there's still a few stings in the tail. The owner of Guinness and several other popular beer brands today lobbed six cent onto the price of a pint. Diageo hiked prices last year as well, and today it said it was still experiencing rising input costs. The pub trade reacted with outrage. The Vintners Federation of Ireland said many of its members were already under severe strain. We know our customers are in the middle of their own cost of living crisis, so the last thing our members want to do is increase prices, said the VFI chief executive. Unfortunately, most publicans will have to pass on this increase, as it's all but impossible to absorb given the rise in labour costs and other soaring charges. The wider nightlife industry has been left waiting on new legislation that will permit all-night opening for clubs and 2.30 a.m. closure for pubs. The chief medical officer has written to the justice minister, however, calling for a health impact assessment on the proposed changes. Speaking in Mayo, Helen McEntee said concerns would be taken on board. There's been consultation um, with our health sector in the lead up to this. Uh, we'll be publishing the legislation, I hope, soon, and obviously we'll engage further. So there won't be another, there won't be a health review. Uh, we've already engaged with the sector, uh, but obviously we'll continue to take anybody's concerns on board uh, as legislation has progressed. The fortunes of the industry have been patchy of late. The latest numbers for the bar trade saw a significant drop-off at the start of the year. Paul Colgan, Virgin Media News.